All right, we're back at Messenger Boot Camp. We're here with Mercy. Uh, Mercy, what would you say, um, how has Messenger Boot Camp affected you? Uh, well, it's completely wrecked my life in an amazing way. Um, <laughs> I was first impacted by Messenger Boot Camp by other people who went through it. And so just by hanging out with other people who were commissioned through previous boot camps just had me fired up in the community and now going through it you know I would say the biggest things that have come out in my experience in messenger boot camp is just that I really have no fear about evangelizing and I honestly like have everything in my life has become meaningless compared to sharing the gospel with people like I'm always thinking about who I can talk to who I can pray with um, I've even had to pray that I would be like able to stay focused in my job because at my job, and it's a Christian organization, I've been like, uh, yeah, I want to go out and evangelize. Um, so by the grace of God, I'm still able to do my work and bring that into it and allow that to be a part of it. But um, and just my intimacy with God has increased to where, you know, before I thought. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so my life is so busy. You know, how am I going to fit in time with God? To where I find myself now waking up so that I have at least hours before my day starts to be with God, and hours when I get home to be with God, and it's just easy. I'm actually more productive and more effective by taking that much more time to be in the presence of the Lord. So, Messenger Boot Camp has officially wrecked my life in a fantastic way. <laughs> That's awesome. So do you have a, a testimony maybe you could share from one of the outreaches? Yeah, well, let me just say I could probably write a book of testimonies in just a few weeks of outreaches. It's been incredible just seeing people give their lives to Christ or be healed or whatever. But the one that sticks out to me is from outreach last week, last Tuesday in North Minneapolis. Um, you know, we had prayed with a number of people. We walked up to this liquor store. And, um, and so this is a three-person encounter just to show how crazy things can happen within like five feet of each other. Um, so we, we encountered this one lady who appeared to be blind and one of the messengers with me who started to speak to her, you know, talked to her about the King's Banquet and she immediately said, I'm an atheist and started swearing at us and telling us to get away from her. Um, and so we were like, all right, all right, we got some manifestation going on here, good, good. And so then like literally 10 feet down, we encountered this other guy who was standing outside the liquor store trying to get money and you know we just started a conversation with him and he was just like really really hungry and was like yes please pray for me and he was so excited about coming to the king's banquet and he was like i'm gonna see you there so you all better look out for me because i'm gonna be looking for you so it was this awesome opportunity to pray and prophesy over him but then the third encounter which happened in the exact same spot was that as soon as we got done praying for this man another man pulled up in a car like parked the car in front of where we are runs up to us and he says are you all praying for people because i need prayer so this man literally jumps out of his car in front of the liquor store stops you know and everything because he needs prayer and he just comes up to us and he just starts weeping about how like things in his life aren't going right and you know he kind of knows god but he just feels like he needs to surrender his life more to, to jesus and that like things aren't going well and he just wants to surrender his life and like have things be right, you know, with God. And so as I was, you know, listening to his story and, you know, I was with two other messengers and, and they were kind of interceding while I was talking with him, I just really felt like he already knew what he needed to say. Sometimes I'll have people pray with me because they're not really sure what to say or, or how to pray. But this guy just like knew that he just like knew. And I was like, you know what, man? I'm just going to have you start praying because you already know what you need to tell the Lord. And he just began to weep and he put, he threw his hands up and he just was like, God, I surrender to you, Jesus, I need you. I mean, I've never heard such an earnest, honest crying out at, at nighttime, like nine o'clock at night in North Minneapolis in front of a liquor store, crying out for Jesus to take over his life. And so, you know, we, and then we prayed for him, we laid hands on him and we prayed for him. And as we prayed for him, all the like turmoil that we saw when he showed up and stopped, you know, in front of us was just like gone. Like the tears had stopped. He just had this peace that was just so evident all over him. And then when we were done praying for him, you know, we also invited him to the King's banquet and just, you know, encouraged and admonished him. But he gave us each um, a hug and he did not want to let go. Like he just, you could tell that he was taking advantage of all the love, you know, that we had to give him. And we were just so excited to give it to him because, you know, there's people that 
could push us away or whatever, but this man pulled up and stopped to get all the Jesus that he could get that night. So that is the testimony of many of outreach. That's awesome. So you found Messenger Boot Camp through some friends. If a friend came up to you and said, I'm not sure if I should go to Messenger Boot Camp, what would you tell them? Um, you're crazy for thinking that you shouldn't possibly go. Um, I've already actually started talking to tons of people about how they need to go and that if they're looking for something to just totally transform their life, their intimacy with God, and for them to really catch what the gospel is and the importance of us sharing that with the world, then they need to be here. So really, pretty much everyone needs to come to Messenger Boot Camp. Right on. Thank you, Mercy.